Hi everybody, I hope you're all well and are having a great bank holiday weekend. Um, the weather is beautiful here. I hope you're all having a lovely day and the sun is shining. Um, I really fancy trying, um, it's bread, but bread with a twist. Um, it's called fugas, fugas, and it's very similar to focaccia bread, the Italian bread. So this bread is very popular in France and its main ingredients are obviously the dough. Um, but rosemary and gruyere cheese. I can't, ooh, can't say that. But I don't have that. I don't have that cheese. So I'm making do with a mixture of parmesan and cheddar cheese because that's basically what I had in the house. But come and have a look at the ingredients. So there's the a mixture again because I ran out. Strong white flour and plain flour. That's just a mixture because I'm. I'm sure plain flour would do just as well as strong white flour, but you know, this is for this is for the the bread, the red onion, and the rosemary, salt and sugar, olive oil, and all the, all the ingredients will be up here, and a mixture of uh, well, it's padano because that's what I get at Lidl, and um, cheddar cheese. Cruet cruet was the on the recipe, and I will give a link to the original recipe. Oh, and yeast. So you start off by mixing the flour the water and the yeast and it's only when it's a, like a, a dough when you sort of knock it back that you add the rosemary and the um red, red onion yeah so let's get mixing let's get cooking see you in a bit so i'm going to add the flour the salt and sugar oh and i have a new toy so i'm going to use this to mix it mix the salt and sugar in the dough, a dough mixer. I really was keen to play with that. Oh, I will add this to the warm water. This is this is um, sort of warm, forty degrees, I think, the temperature. Let me just add this yeast to make sure it's working. Right, so. The yeast is perfectly fine, which is great. Right, now I'm going to mix. Right, I'm just going to put it on a on the flour floured surface. Right, I'm going to put it in the oiled bowl and leave it to um, prove for an hour. Um, and I've got this this I've got this idea from John Kirkwood's channel using a shower cap. I absolutely love that idea. Look at that. I mean, that's just brilliant. So I'm going to leave leave this. The recipe said you don't need to leave it in a warm place. Um, uh, just to leave it for an hour, and then then this, the next, when I come back to it, I'll be adding the rosemary and the um, the onion and the cheese. So while the the um, dough is proving, I'm going to cook um, these onions.
Right, let's have a look. Oh, lovely. I did put a bit too much olive oil, but since it's it's an olive oil based type of bread, I don't think that really matters. There we go. I'm just gonna knock it back and start adding the onion. I'm gonna leave a little bit set aside uh, for when I've cut them into their shapes. Oh, a little bit of cheese as well. Just trying to make a, uh, a leaf shape because a, a fugas uh, is meant to sort of represent wheat or well, something like that, basically. I have greased the bottoms of these. Um, I had a little bacon sarnies this morning so I used the fat to grease the the crisper plates and I will let these prove in their position so there's two for the ninja and this one will be for the kasori so I might make try and make it a bit bigger this one but it doesn't matter if it's roughly the Last bit of onion left, just gonna I'm just going to sprinkle the cheese, the rest of the cheese on top of each one. 
salt and pepper them but we'll do that I'll do that and then I'll take you off the wall in a minute I might have made a bit too much cheese actually it did say 100 grams but... I'm just going to season press the cheesing so it, I've got a feeling the air fryer is going to it's going to go flying about the cheese well, it's quite likely to uh, we'll see yep so I'm going to leave these for 20 minutes to prove that's what the recipe says so back in 20 minutes right so they've proved and you have to forgive the noise because I've got a chicken in the um, 11 in 1 because it's Sunday and um, I have it's 4 o'clock so I, dinner has to be cooked it's whatever I'm doing <laughs> so it's a little bit noisy sorry about that um, but they have increased in size whilst proving in there so have a look not bad I'm going to turn them on now and cook them I'm going to have a look at the sorry one yeah that seems to be a bit larger so let's get this on like this flickers so I'm not going to show it but I'm going to put it on 200 oh, for 10 minutes and check it uh, yeah so the same with the ninja at 10 on bake uh, yeah so the original recipe says at 240 220 gas mark 8 uh, for 13 to 15 minutes so yeah that's adjusted for this I will put a link to this recipe in the in the description right I'll see you soon so it's just ended. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. It's kind of blown up, hasn't it? I can sort of see the lines, but let's, yeah, let's turn it off. 10 minutes is, I don't know, is that too much? Let's get these out. Right, I'm just gonna put you down. Right, yeah, I've just turned the, well, I've opened the lid for my chicken <laughs> just to stop the noise because boy it's noisy because obviously I'm doing a roast dinner I wonder what the underside's like oh dear oops You're supposed, you know you shouldn't have to flip it obviously it needs it so I will put that back in for a few minutes um, so yeah let's just just on 180 air fry let's get this one out or to check the other side because if the Kasori one needs I bet this one does. Yeah, that's all right though. We know what we're dealing with. Turning it's no hardship, is it? Let's get to the other one, which we can match. They smell really delicious, I have to say. Really lovely. Oh, can't wait to taste test. <laughs> oh, I lost a bit. Oh, never mind. down to the same temperature as Kasori. Back in a tick. 
we'll just quickly check it. It's only got a few seconds to go. Oh yeah, perfect. That will do. Okay, we'll just put you down. Ninja ones. Yeah, that'll do it. So that was two minutes. Mm. Well, I'll take this one out, uh, but I'm going to leave this one in. So. For in the bread department. The rosemary, the red onion and the cheese. I'm looking forward to taste testing this and this is very freezeable apparently and it, apparently it's very good with soups. So I, I, after the taste test I'm going to freeze the rest uh, for when I have a soup and then that's, that's going to be our bread. But I'm really looking forward to the taste test. See you in a bit. Oh, check these out. Cool. Uh, more bread than I've can't believe it really to be fair 10 minutes but maybe eight flipped for two for the other side I would say because um look a slightly overdone on the top but mm, really looking forward to that just got to do a thumbnail mm, what a wally uh yeah let's cut one of these in half and see what it looks like Oh, yeah. Just want to see what it's like in the middle. See without my glasses. Mm -mm. The onion running through it, and there's cheese in there as well, as well as on the top. So let's have a taste. Come on, let's have a taste. Well, that tastes. I've got the salt and the mm, and the onion. Oh my god, the cheese! The cheese, I got really strong. One more piece. Mm. Oh yeah, I can see why this would be really good. Is a dipping. Oh, I'm really, that's, that's amazing. Not so hard, not as hard as you think. Well, I would, I would, you know, I've never done this before. Mmm. I love the onion in that. Oh, and you get a burst of salt and cheese because there's the flakes on top. hint of rosemary mm. delicious I'm gonna freeze the rest and make a soup plan for, to make a soup and have this with the soup that will make your soup well it's like having bells on isn't it it's good. that is really lovely I'm really impressed oh, not bad oh well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I've got to crack on and carry on with the, the Sunday dinner now because time is running out. Uh, this has sort of delayed it slightly. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope you enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Um, uh, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Ooh. Oh, I've got a thank you. Hold on one moment. Thank you, Karen Parler, for becoming my my a patron thank you very very much that's very much appreciated your name will be in the um the patron clip 
Thank you so much for joining. It's really appreciated. Right, it's a bye for now. See you on the next one. Bye.